Welcome back to Light Torches and Fall Down. And run around the Cheeto. <laughs> and then fall down. You know, Link is kind of a klutz. I mean, somebody needs to be counting how many times he fell. Can I get in before it closes? Whew. That room is just annoying. <clears throat> Don't shoot me with your laser, I just want to go up the steps. And light these... the floor is falling. I can no longer light some of these torches. Let's just go down and then go right back up. And then let's shoot this right. And get all of these. That's how you do this floor. And then Helma bugs. And bombs! Bombs are always nice and they can just walk over the spikes. They don't care. So I'm gonna need a key, I... He had the key. I was gonna say, I hope the key's in this room. Because I don't want to backtrack. And something to bomb. That's always fun. Like... Oh. I don't even... Okay, what's in this chest? Another key! That's what I needed. Oh, and here's Moldorm. Hopefully this will get better. I wonder where this drops me if I fall. Well, I guess now that spoilers that I didn't fall. And that was very quick. That's probably why I didn't fall. He took only a couple hits. And no, I can't jump up or down. Sometimes perspectives can be hard. Ooh, there's a chest. I guess I have to hookshot down. What's in the chest? Rupees! Because rupees are important. You know, those blasts are totally unnecessary. There was no reason for them to be there. I'm a bug, thanks. You know, I'm just gonna walk past you guys and go up these steps and... Don't slow me down, Ice! <laughs> You'd think you would slide quickly on Ice, not... slowly... Is this the boss already? Yeah, it's Aghanim. Ho ho ho, it's great you're here. I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe me. We will not have a third meeting. That's funny because I don't remember this guy. Have we met before? You know, I, I, I would, I would think that I would remember a guy like you, but you're not ringing any bells. Have, have you been stalking me, dude? Because I swear I've never met you before. This is our first meeting. What are you? Why are you acting like I know you? Is, is there, like, some kind of weird time travel going on? Because I'm, I'm really thinking back, and I really never did meet you. I mean, I've heard of you, but I've never met you. So you must be stalking me, dude. And that's not cool. That's kind of creepy, actually. Who stalks a little kid with pointy ears and a floppy hat and pink hair? Have you seen me as a bunny? And what what do you what 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 are these balls even made of? Is this even sanitary what you're doing? Are your balls sanitary? Fine, die. Yeah. 
We won't have another meeting. What? You had a pig in your body? You were... You were the surrogate mother of a pig? A pig that turns into a bat? Did Link... Did Link eat that mushroom that he got in the Lost Woods? And the bat went into the... Temp pyramid of Power. But you know... Let's not fight Ganon yet. There... there I, I know if I don't... Someone's going to be like... Why didn't you get all the items? So I'm gonna get all of the items on the inventory and fill up the inventory. So first let's get the last medallion. And let me try to remember how to get here. It's not down here. Is it up here? And Cyclops, I really don't need you throwing bombs at me while I'm looking for this um, medallion. Nope, I can't go here. Where's this thing? Did I, did I, am I totally in the wrong area? I probably am. A lot of these waterways look alike. And Skull, don't, don't chase me, Skull. That's not fun. I feel like the more I talk, the more it causes desync. Oh, and here's where the medallion is. You have to throw that in, and then you have to hold your sword out, and just keep it still held out. And the catfish will be so intimidated, he'll give you the last medallion. Which is the quake medallion. So now you can cause earthquakes. And then there's one more item that I need to get, which is the Cane of Burna, I think. And it's on Death Mountain somewhere. So let's go to the Dark World. And what's... there's a cave here. What's in this cave? It's a big fairy. So many big fairies in this game, actually. It kind of... I don't know. I'm just kind of surprised there are so many big fairies. It seems like you would have a lot of places to heal. Like, maybe too many places to heal. I mean, I guess that's not something you complain about. So now we have to go over this long thing and then not have enough magic to even do it. And in here is the Cane of Burna. I was right. So now, I'm also going to get the magic curse. Just because I'm sure someone would complain about that too. So you have to go in here and throw magic on it. Luckily I have a little bit of magic. And he will curse you. But he's not quite awake yet, so... He actually causes the magic you use to be cut in half. So with that, let's get out of here. And have doors shut behind us. And then let's warp to the Pyramid of Power to fight Ganon. Let's drop down and fight the pig. The pig of darkness. I never imagined a boy like you could give me such trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated Aghanim. It's unbelievable that he could fit a pig in his body. Stop throwing your, your trident at me. And how are you even making your trident curve? That doesn't even make any sense. It's not a boomerang. Are you that magical that you can make a trident? I don't know if you can actually defeat this guy, if you can defeat Ganon any faster by using spin attacks, but I'm going to do it anyway because I think they're supposed to do more damage, so... maybe? 
and it'll be useful to get fewer hits in on him, but do more damage. Oh, now he's gonna jump. This got serious. He's jumping and breaking the floor. And if you fall down, you don't lose health. It's worse than that. You actually have to start the whole battle over. And he's just sitting on my sword. That has to hurt. And would you stop stop phasing around? You're, you're just wasting time now. This video is going to go on for a, for like a half hour just because you're phasing around. <clears throat> Can you break through the secret te technique of darkness on guard? And now is now this is me thinking that I have to do this next part backwards and shoot him and then hit him with the sword. Although, you actually just have to hit him with the sword, and then shoot him. Which is easier said than done, because... He's kinda cheap with his attacks, and he can hit you, and stun you just long enough that you can't get your arrow off. <laughs> and you have to keep constantly lighting this, because it keeps going out. See, he... 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 he, he didn't stay stoned long enough. So, my arrow didn't... He just dodged that arrow. I totally missed with that arrow. <clears throat> Feels like he should stay stoned at least maybe a quarter of a second longer. Just feels like he's not stoned long enough. And yeah, get in the way and block my fire. That's one way to do this. Just be cheap about it. And I think that almost didn't even get him. I think that was just at the last second that you could possibly hit him. Let's get our bow on, and then hit him and shoot him maybe? No, he didn't stay stoned long enough. Yeah, there was no way I could have hit him there. He hit me backward and I didn't. I wasn't prepared to shoot an arrow off immediately. You don't have any leniency. You have to, you have to stab him and then immediately shoot the arrow. You can't get stunned, you can't get pushed to the side. You have to be just right on. And no, I can't light that with my sword. That doesn't even make sense. Okay, dude, so... <clears throat> Can you die soon? Don't knock me off. You fire bats. Come on, die, dude. Let me hit you. Stop phasing and not being around to get hit enough. And he's dead. He's finally dead. This will be nice. And it gets dark, but I'll keep stabbing him with my sword. Because that's what you do when you think someone's dying. You make sure they're, that they're going to die. And now the door opens in the Pyramid of Power. And what could lie inside? It's the Triforce. Welcome, oh no. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the Dark World. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His Dark World will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Looks like it's floating. Now touch it and make a wish. 
a good wish. Oh no. And now for the first time in the series, it's going to form into the Triforce. Well, not the first time chronologically, but the first time in the sequence of games made. This is the first instance that we see the Triforce. The Return of the King. This just... Is there going to be a Fellowship of the Ring here too? The King no longer has a skull for a face. And is this guy... Still alive because we never saw him die. And technically Zelda was never stolen from the sanctuary. And Sarasa... That dude can come home. I'm not even going to try to do his name anymore. And the desert has... Become ruled by the vultures? That's kind of sad, actually. And the bully makes a friend. Was there actually a bully and a ball dude somewhere in the light world there? Because I don't think I've ever seen those guys in the light world. And our uncle is back alive. But he died. He died in front of us. How is he alive again? Did Link wish for everybody who died in this whole quest to come back to life? Would that also include Ganon? And pretty much every enemy he's killed. <laughs> and they're still cutting that tree. That's one tough tree. And the food boy is alive again. And his father's there, happy. Do all these people remember that all these people died? Do they remember being dead? Or do they just have no idea what happened? And nobody will ever know what Link did. I'm not sure which would be worse. And the bug catching kid is, is apparently alive again, too. I like to think that he died when you were fighting Ganon. I mean, you never see him die, but I like to think that some at some point he dies and then he's back to life. Like everyone else. And is that the same old, the same lost old man who was trying to fix this up with his granddaughter? And why do we care about the thieves? Thieves? And the Master Sword sleeps again. Forever. Or until... A Link Between Worlds. Although I guess since... The Master Sword was there all along this entire playthrough... Technically that would make this playthrough... The canon for how to get to the get to a link between worlds because there's now one master sword so technically one of them could sleep forever and the other could be used again what did i do oh and there's hiroshi yamachu <laughs> yamuchi and shigeru miyamoto that sounds vaguely familiar but i don't know why I guess he can't be important. Takashi Tezuka. Kensuke Tanabe. Yasuhisa Yamamura. Yuichi, Yam Yuichi Yamada. I'm actually doing better on these names than I expected. Suichiro Tomita. Takaya Imamura. 
Masanao Erimoto, Suyoshi Watanabe. And the program director is Toshi Toshihiko Nakago. Yasuna Yasunari Soijima. Kazuaki Morita. Tetsuo Nishiyama. Yuichi Yamamoto. Yoshihiro no Momo Yoshihiro no Mu no Moto. That that should have been so easy. Eiji Noto. Satoru Takahata. Toshiho Iwa Iwawaki. Shigihiro Kasamatsu. Yasunari Nishida. And Koji Kondo. He's been the one that's been doing the sound for the entire series, I think. Keizo Kato. Takao Sh Shimizu. Yuichi Kotabi. Hideki Fuiji. Fuji. Fuji. Yoshiaki Koizama. Yoshi. <laughs> Koi. You know, I'm. I'm. Daniel Osen, that's that's way out of place, but I'm gonna give up on trying to read some of these names because it's not it's going better than expected, but Ah It's still scrolling too fast for me to be able to read and think about how the pronunciation would have to be in Japanese. And zero, zero, zero. All of these are zero. Except that one. I think that was the time I saved and quit. And I saved and saved and quit there too. And is this the end? Is it? Actually, no, there's a little bit more to do. Since this is a sequence break, let's see if we can break some stuff. That's all for today. So let's get on the bird and go.